of the band outfit in the Mumbai attacks and said Pakistan is implicating the lashkar e -Toyba under pressure from America and India. So let's take a look at what India's gained by Pakistani admissions. First, Pakistan has admitted the role of its nationals. They've accepted that part of the conspiracy was planned in their country. Zakir Rehman Lakhvi of the lashkar e -Toyba was the mastermind as India alleged and Ajmal Kassab, the only terrorist caught in Mumbai on the night of the attacks, has been booked in Pakistan. But what would India also like to have seen? For starters, Pakistan says its people, not its government, is involved. There is no mention of the role of the ISI. Well, in an official response a short while back, the Home Minister, Mr. Chidamram, has said Pakistan's admission is a positive development. My initial response is that this is a positive development. The dossier that we handed over on the 5th of January was an exceptionally tightly argued document, even if I say so. It was a very cogently argued document and no one could have ignored the evidence there. We are happy that the initial response is positive, but a detailed statement will be made tomorrow by the external affairs minister. Sudhir Ranjan Sen joins us now for a more on this. Uh, Sudhir, now we're talking about so-called non-state actors, terrorists, but the ISI, the Pakistani establishment, has not figured in any of this. The, and apart from that, Pakistan itself wants more from India. So how is the Home Ministry really looking at, at what Pakistan has said today? Well, yes, Vishnu, that is one of the key concerns. We have been speaking to senior officials, both in the security agencies and in the Home Ministry. And this particular thing that the, there is no mention of the establishment, or that of the ISI, and uh, if I can just go back a little bit, the Prime Minister, the Foreign Secretary, uh, the Defence Minister have repeatedly said that this kind of an attack could not have happened without the help of the establishment. But unfortunately, in the response from Pakistan, there is no mention of that. That has been completely, completely uh, darked out. So that is one of the key issues which I believe will be discussed whether India should take this up, should, should you know, or how, how to take it up and how to put pressure. There is a meeting which is going on right now, which is being chaired by Mr. Pranam Mukherjee. We understand that all these issues are being discussed, but the fact that the Pakistani establishment and more so the ISI was a part of this has been completely blanked out is a key area of concern. Vishnu. And uh, Sudhi, they are also not happy about the local involvement uh, reference? Yes, I mean, in the fact that uh, India tried to maintain or has been maintaining that there has not been much of local involvement or no local involvement at all, except one arrest that has been made in Bombay, in the connection of the Bombay attacks, that is Fahim Ansari, who has been picked up, who was there in the, uh, in the first uh, of uh, January 2007, 2008 attacks on Rampur, except that we have said there has been no local involvement. But Pakistan has made it very clear that the SIM cards that have been procured in India shows local involvement but the fact government of India maintains there has not been so the feeling that we get out here from speaking to officials from speaking to investigators the feeling that we get out here from the officials is that Pakistan is trying to you know turn around and put the blame on India